So let's look at the following example. A train 100 meters long begins at rest and accelerates uniformly, reaching a person 200 meters away with a velocity of 25 meters per second. Find the velocity of the last car as it passes the person. So, in the first step of the problem, we have to figure out what our acceleration is. So let's look at the following diagram. So initially our train is stationary and the person is also assumed to be stationary. Now the person and the front of the train is 200 meters away. Now the train begins at rest and begins to accelerate uniformly with some unknown acceleration until it reaches this person. At the point when the front of the train reaches our person, the train is traveling at 25 meters per second. So we want to find what our acceleration is during this period. So, let's use the following formula. Our final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus 2 times our unknown acceleration times our displacement x. So we know what our displacement is. It's 200 meters. We know what our initial velocity is, it's 0 meters per second, and we know what our final velocity is, it's 25 meters per second. So, let's rearrange and place A on one side and everything else on the other side. We get A equals V squared minus V naught squared divided by 2x. So, V naught, our initial velocity, is 0, so this term cancels, so we're left with 25 meters per second squared, which is 625 meters squared over second squared, divided by 2 times our displacement, so 2 times 200 is 400 meters. We divide the 2 and we get approximately 1.56 meters per second squared. So this is our train's uniform or constant acceleration. So, now that we know our acceleration of the train, we can use this information to find our velocity of the last car as it passes our person. So, let's go to part two. So, this is our initial situation. Our initial condition is that the train just passes our person with a velocity of 25 meters per second. The final situation is the last car of the, of, the, of the train will pass our person at some unknown final velocity. So we want to figure out what that velocity is. Now, let's use the same exact formula. So final velocity squared, which is what we want to find, equals initial velocity squared plus 2 times our acceleration, which we now know, times our displacement. So, what is our displacement? The displacement is equal to the length of our car, the length of, of our entire train. That's our displacement. Because when the train begins at this point and ends at this point, the train has traveled 100 meters because the train is 100 meters long. So, let's plug in our unknown, or actually before we plug in, let's take the radical of both sides to get rid of this 2, so we get our final velocity is equal to radical v initial squared plus 2ax. So, a is, is 1.56, v naught squared is 625, and our x is 100. So, we multiply these guys out, we add them up, and we get radical 937. So, our v final in other words, our final velocity of the train as it passes the person is 30.6 meters per second.